Hey, what is up guys? My name's Andrew, also known as Asian Panda, and this is not Pokemon 3D. This is Quantum Conundrum, as you, you can read from the screen. And I am doing this because I wanted to do a little something different for my channel. Um, so Quantum Conundrum is kind of like Portal 2, if you've ever heard of it. Partially because some of the makers of Portal 2 hopped onto this project, Quantum Conundrum. Uh, I kind of started a, a game already, but that was only to kind of check check the options, the mouse is a little buggy, the screen resolution needed to be changed, but we might as well hop right into this, uh, yeah. So this game auto saves, so Once upon a time, we don't need to worry about saving, and that's how here's a cutscene, so start, yes. shut up. A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. False. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. And so that was the little intro that, that came with the game. Well, let's see here. If I configure the transdimensional velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 microseconds past the... Oh, you're here? I have the most <laughs> incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. Okay, guys, so just a heads up, before we get too far into this game, there was a warning that came with this game saying that if you are sensitive to the light and uh, flashing colors, that you should not watch this. Like, a little heads up, because people... If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. Um, people, they have their, uh... They can have headaches and or seizures with this, so... Be warned, if your head starts to hurt while watching this, I'd suggest you click off. Uh, my feelings won't be hurt as long as you guys are safe. But, for now, I'm gonna carry my luggage. Oh, you confounded machine! Oh, that doesn't sound what good. What was that? Hmm. Oh, good. That, that should be a safety release for the door up there hey, somewhere. Where on earth did I put that? I think I know where you put it. Wait a minute. Got it. Something isn't quite right here. Um, oh no, 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 no! Oh dear. Ah! He doesn't sound too good. No, my suitcase! Power's gone out. Just happened. I'm not entirely sure where I am right now. The security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and Hello, you you, you can hear me, right? Jump yes, around a bit if you can. Jump with ah, the space bar. It seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Yes, you can. Well, I most certainly can't do better than this. Oh. Testing, 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 testing. 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 There. Ah, it does sound better. a lot better. Now, what in the world are you doing here? The Were you supposed to be here today? No matter. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A epidural hematoma. Bump on the head. <laughs> Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. 
now. I might as well head to the front hall. Oh, poor knight. No! Last oh. I remember, I was in the new technology sector, now. and then... I don't know. Hmm. Amnesia. Oh, can't pick that up. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. It's got interesting portraits here. Such as that guy. Huh, it's the same guy. They just are wearing different clothes. Hmm. Okay. The Throw fancy that love. It should be the one. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate nope. the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, <laughs> as I am not pleased. Warning, guys. What you are holding pleased. is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> if you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the breaker <laughs> did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. The blue wing, guys. I'm guessing here? Mustache. There's something I must <laughs> tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, visited. Visited. I'm a visitor. Should probably get going. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various oh, the dimensions. Music. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Real quick, I'm just going to turn down the uh, audio just a little bit. Audio. Master volume. Turn it down to about there. Just so you can both hear me and the game effectively. The glove More nights controls everywhere. the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Hmm. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. The what? Or a drinking bird. Oh. Except it's far more advanced. <laughs> Oh, cats. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few cats. limitations in terms of dimension cats, accessibility cats. and the distance it can be from a receptacle <laughs> in order to function. Shift in perspective. Okay, so this is our first official level. Um, I think I'm going to be doing these in this is one or two levels at a time. Dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it and triggered remotely so... with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. And so... There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions. Which in this case is... Fluffy Dimensions! Fluffy Dimensions! Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful. Because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Oh. Um... Before I was rudely interrupted, I was saying uh, I'm going to do these in bursts of one or two levels at a time. And so... Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. And so you'll only be seeing a few levels at a time. I'm hoping to get these out probably every Thursday? There's that lovely bird again. Ooh. Sometimes I go. Throw the bird. Oh. Desmond. Nice. Desmond. Something to nice. note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. 
Let me try that again. You remain constant, so no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. Try. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. A little short. Need a better throw nom. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get these that out every Thursday. So we'll have a Tuesday and you Thursday to now show. Use your IDS device to switch dimensions oh, oh, e. at your leisure. And I am playing this on the PC, as you can tell from my one, three, Q and E. Uh, is this the right one? Yes, it is. Okay, got my pot with me, guys. As I mentioned, Oof. dimensional oh my gosh. rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy and the it, guys. receptacle and batteries. Science talk. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Ah, Huggins Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation hmm. Interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. She missed. Whoa. Oh, I'll need to tune that later. Bad Dolly. Bad. So, where does this go? Oh, it goes right there. Yeah. So what do I do now? Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Does that work? Ha. Ah. See, this is easy. Por Portal was fun. It was a little complicated at some parts, but you know. I'm the hang of it. Okay, so lasers are usually bad. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope. Okay, so that aluminum gets rid of lasers that. Using an alternating ray configuration. Gives them an extra kick. Uh-huh, and what's this do? I'm guessing... I should probably throw it on that pad. Easy enough, easy enough. Checkpoint. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. <laughs> okay, so do I... What am I going to do? No, seriously. Uh... Okay. So, I have to make it over there. Ah, just letting you know that you reset the glass. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I get it. Stinker. I got this. Easy enough. I didn't realize it reset the glass as well. Oops. Need to put something heavy on this. Easy enough. This is pretty simple. Easy starts. Oh, that uh, creature there is an what interdimensional is kinetic entity. Or Ike. Ike. Aw, oh, Ike, where'd you go? The door closes. Ha <laughs> Do it again. And boom. It's easy enough. Stop for a minute and take a look at the painting. What painting? That painting? The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. 
The original quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. <laughs> Slight difference each time. And air rising scheme. Hi, Ike. Okay, so it's throwing things there. That's a stick. In case you're wondering, you turned on the fan. Oh. Please say that you don't need me to explain that to you. Okay, I know what to do. Wait. I hear meowing. Ike's <laughs> adorable. Look at him. Quiet. Oh my gosh. Can I die from those? I can't imagine getting hit with a ah, safe is a good thing. That's where that got to. That is a botched experiment of mine called the awkward noise generator. <laughs> There's got to be more around here somewhere. <laughs> Standard issue conveyor belts. So much easier than carrying Ike. Oh. That's a portrait of my father, Papa Wilfred Zapp. Hey, what? He was part of a top secret NASA mission to capture Sputnik and replace it with a basketball. I can't see the inside. The Soviets never noticed, hmm. probably because the basketball got better reception. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> enough task getting up here so I haven't discussed my location a whole lot but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo I think I may explore a bit and see what turns up okay have fun with that I'm gonna play with my new glove so uh, a fluffy journey of discovery what have you how you guys like in this game do you guys think it's a good game uh, do you guys like puzzle games so I have fleshy, fluffy again. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, to add insult to injury. Oh. Well, at least avoid impaling yourself horribly. <laughs> Bad enough, the glass needs to be tidied up. No, come back. Well, now you're just crying out for attention. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, um... Can I write this? It doesn't make sense! If I can't get lifted up by it, I don't see how... Whatever. Oh, wait, 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 I need that. Hey. And you can follow the little cords to see where we need to go. This is gonna be easy. Never hurts to hit the button. Where's this go? Oh. Um. Hi. Okay. That hits that. Let's try that one more time. Oh, I see. Okay. Easy, easy. Just needed to use the fan. I'm making my way down this hall. Um, where do these things go? Oh, to that. A dolly. Wait, what's Grandma look like? Where hair gets poofy. What about the cat? Anything? Hmm. Just her hair. Okay. Not sure. Oh, I think I know what to do. Oh, 
Long button. Hey. Boop. There's the third one, right? Yeah, there it is. Boop. Easy enough. I like I like the music. It's very techno-y. Okay. Button. There it is. I'm guessing I have to go up there. This room often gets rather swelled in the summertime. Air circulation is very important. Up, up, and away! <laughs> He's in a bunny costume! You guys see that? He's in a bunny costume! <laughs> uh, let's make our way back. Uh, no! I fell! Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Could have been bad. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> this this game got a lot more interesting. Uh, I'm guessing we're doing the same thing, fans. Can only imagine falling down. No! Why is there no shift clicking like in Minecraft? Oh, you have died. You'll never experience waiting for the cable guy. Good. It's a bit depressing. The physicality of that still completely baffles me. Right? It can't push me, but it can push those things. Oh. There we go. I feel like I'm gonna end up dying hot. Ooh, what is that thing? Oops. Oh yes, with these specifications, you should be able to recreate several objects in the research and development lab adjacent to my office. Hmm. Huh. 